The dirty dozen refers to 12 key factors that can contribute to human error. The concept of the dirty dozen was developed by Gordon Dupont in 1993 and is widely used within aviation today. Good communication and teamwork are essential throughout the entire operation. Poor communication is a major contributing factor to accidents and incidents. It is one of the most critical human factor elements. Communication refers to the transmitter and the receiver, as well as the method of transmission. It is possible that transmitted instructions may be unclear or inaccessible. The receiver may make assumptions about the meaning of these instructions, and the transmitter may assume that the message has been received and understood. Here are some tips to improve communication. Bear in mind that only 30% of a verbal message may be properly understood. Write down complex messages or follow verbal instructions with written text. Use checklists, forms, logbooks, worksheets, shift handover forms, etc. Keep verbal messages short and emphasise the most critical elements. Use the phonetic alphabet when passing messages via radio or phone. Ask the receiver to repeat back critical elements of the instruction to confirm understanding. Avoid assumptions and ask to clarify any messages not fully understood. Written text should be clear and easy to read, especially on any safety-critical aircraft loading documentation. Complacency can occur with routine activities that have come to be considered as easy and safe, even if they are inherently risky to someone new or less familiar with the task or job role. Complacency may at times be referred to as being overconfident in your own work, or self-satisfaction with your own performance combined with an unawareness of the potential danger. This footage shows an example of complacency during the arrival of an aircraft. In this video clip, the ground operative places a cone in front of the engine while the engine is still running, and it immediately gets sucked in. This will have caused significant damage and, more importantly, could have easily been the staff member himself being sucked into the engine. This could have been much worse, as you see in the following news report. New this morning, federal investigators say an airline worker in Montgomery who was killed New Year's Eve was sucked into the plane's engine. The ramp employee worked for Piedmont Airlines, which is a regional carrier for American Airlines. The flight was headed to Dallas. Investigators say that that plane was at the gate with its parking brake set when it happened. A full report is expected within the next two to three weeks. A lack of knowledge can cause accidents and incidents. To countermeasure this, never guess the answer to a question or make an assumption about the correct way to complete a task. You should refer to the appropriate manual or procedures and ask for additional training. Getting distracted at a crucial time can cause an accident or contribute to an accident at a later stage. Distraction has caused errors on the ground such as incorrect boarding of passengers, aircraft damage, incorrect loading or miscalculation of fuel quantities. Here are some recommended countermeasures for distraction. Turn phones off or place onto silent to avoid personal messages distracting you whilst working. Your company will have specific procedures about mobile phone use. If completing a complex task, such as calculating weight and balance data, find somewhere with minimal distractions and always check over your work. If speaking to flight crew, check they are not in the middle of a task before interrupting them. This may include inputting data into a flight management system or carrying out a pre-departure briefing. If you are using a checklist and get interrupted, go back to the start of the checklist to ensure you avoid missing any critical steps. Talk to your employer if any issues at home are causing or likely to cause distraction during your shift.
Lack of teamwork is another human factors focus area. Effective teamwork is essential to achieve safe and punctual operations. Teams may be built up of people with different strengths and limitations, which can be identified to ensure everyone can contribute. At the start of a shift or ahead of a specific task, consider having a team briefing. Set clear aims, goals, and ensure everyone knows their role and responsibility to achieve them. Allow opportunities for sharing concerns and asking questions before, during, or after the shift or task. Fatigue can cause people to become easily distracted and lose situational awareness. Shift workers may be more exposed to fatigue as they often have less sleep than desired, may struggle to adjust in and out of different shift patterns, and try to maintain the same level of social life despite early starts or late finishes. Anyone can become fatigued following long or intensive periods of work. When fatigue becomes a chronic condition, it may require medical attention. Becoming fatigued may affect the ability to concentrate, remember things, and make the right decisions. Employers can reduce fatigue by having stable working patterns, monitoring working hours, overtime, and shift swaps. Individuals can help manage fatigue through a combination of sleep, a healthy diet, and regular exercise. A second job or intensive hobby should be carefully balanced to not cause fatigue. Are you getting enough sleep and do you know how much sleep is recommended? The average adult needs 7 to 8 hours of sleep each night. Lack of resources such as not having enough staff or equipment may increase pressure on individuals to cut corners and not follow standard operating procedures. For example, prior planning is key to ensure sufficient equipment is ready for an aircraft turnaround. Think of this scenario. Company procedure states that a maximum of 40 bags should be loaded onto a trolley. Three trolleys have been allocated for this flight by the previous shift supervisor, but there are 130 pieces of baggage expected. The ramp is very busy and the team are short-staffed. The equipment storage area is in another part of the airport, so it is not quick to find another trolley. Do you think the loading team might be tempted to go against company procedures and squeeze the extra 10 bags across the three trolleys? There would certainly be pressure to make this decision rather than drive to another part of the airport to find an additional trolley, leaving their team further short-staffed. These kinds of scenarios happen every day in the aviation industry. Some can be prevented through improved planning, while some rely on employees making the correct decision on the day. Pressure can also be felt by front-of-house colleagues when dealing with large queues and disruption. Never allow yourself to be pressured into carrying out tasks that you are not trained to do or miss critical safety or security-related elements of your work. Assertiveness should not be confused with being aggressive. You should stand up for what is right and firmly refuse to compromise on safety. Take ownership of issues and address potential hazards by raising any concerns with your employer in a constructive manner. Stress is a bodily response to a stimulus that disturbs or interferes with the normal physiological equilibrium of a person and, in the context of aviation, refers to a state of physical, mental or emotional strain due to some external or internal stimulus. Stress affects people in different ways. Stress needs to be managed and you can usually access support through your employer or doctor. A lack of awareness can be the absence of situational awareness or the inability to know what is going on around you. Situational awareness is essential working in the airside area of an airport due to the number of hazards in the area. 
Norms could be considered unwritten rules that people follow and may go against procedure as a matter of routine. As many others do it, it becomes normal and acceptable. However, it may at some point lead to an accident or trigger a chain of events that lead to a later incident. Having an awareness of the Dirty Dozen can help embed countermeasures to increase the overall safety of the aviation industry.